Hi guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Underrated Hijabi and in today's video I will be doing 24 hours of eating nostalgic uh, sweets, candy and snacks. I don't know what that word means. I just saw that Shanae Beba she commented, she said 20 hours of eating childhood nostalgic snacks, sweets and chocolates. I don't know how to say that word. I don't think I've ever used that vocabulary ever in my life. Guys, I'm really hungry right now, so we're going to see what did I have as a childhood for breakfast. I'm going to go to Asda and do our shop. These are also one of my favourite uh, wagon wheels, but the thing is they have gelatine. So when I was younger, I used to eat these like anything, but they actually have beef gelatine. But these are one of my favourite wagon wheels. And then they have these ones uh, with the jammy inside. These were one of my favourites, but I'm not going to get them because I have a lot of chocolatey things. This was also one of my favourites. I used to love these ones and these ones, but I've... And, no, I never used to have these. That was also one of my favourites, but obviously I can't have that because I've got way too much chocolate. I have to sell these watermelon ones and cherry pie. I'm getting it. Oh my god, that looks so delicious. Oh my god, that looks so good. That looks so nice. The first thing we are going to be eating is our breakfast. So when I was younger, we only had two cereals, massive pack of cornflakes, like a big one, and she would also buy Weetabix. So those are the only two cereals that you will ever find inside my house. We also had bread and butter and jam. On occasions, we might get chocolate spread, but that rarely happened. I'm gonna show you guys what I used to do with my breakfast. I don't really eat cornflakes now as an adult. I would usually have it with milk and sugar, but my favorite thing to do, and this would happen rarely, is when my mom would buy hot chocolate powder and I would mix that with milk and then I would have that. So I've got myself some hot chocolate and then I just pour it in because we never used to have Cocoa Pops. So this would be like my, my version of Cocoa Pops. I'd rather have a bowl of Cocoa. And then I'll let this sit for a little bit so it can get soggy. Bismillah. It's just like Cocoa Pops. And I still love this. This was my go-to favorite breakfast every morning. You know, there's people out there that don't drink the milk afterwards and they'll just put it in the sink. To me, this tastes sensational. These were my favorite. I love these so much. And also these, but they actually contain pork gelatine. So I went to the corner shop, right? And I got myself some of some crisps that I used to love as a child. Chip sticks, Space Raiders, and these spirals. I also saw Oh, this is melted some curly whirlies these blackjacks. Oh my gosh blackjacks. I used to buy them Imagine he charged me 5p for one of these 5p for this. I used to buy this for 1p I used to have so many of these it's in there And you know, I love them even more None of my siblings like blackjack none of them they all hated the taste of blackjack and I would have loads of them. And I know no one's gonna eat them. I, would, I can put them anywhere and nobody's gonna eat it. Love this. I love these because they make my lips white. So no. Oh my God, these expired two days ago. This was my go-to drink as a child. But like, I'll get the carton. So that carton would be like 50p. Get one of these out of 20p. And then I'll get these chocolates, yeah? Freddo and fudge. I really liked fudge, but I used to eat fudge with the, with the crisps. Break off the fudge, yeah? Go pack up. So mixed it. I don't think it was this crisp though, because this is too garlicky. Wow, I feel a bit sicky now. <laughs> Who remembers these candy sticks? It also had a tattoo. I used to love the ones that had tattoos. If no, I'm not gonna put it on me because obviously I need to pray. But like, look at this. I might stick it on my car. And then you just like, if you don't have water, you use a spit. I know, right, quite disgusting. And then there'll be like these candy sticks. And then like you just literally just like put them there and just pretend they smoke you. What do you say to me? Talk to me, yeah? Because these two were 39p back in the day. Like they were 39p. Now I bought these from Morrison's and they were three for one pound. But if you go to like the corner shop, these are 59p. So I used to always get this or I'd get like, you know, those bar drinks. Bismillah. When I was younger, I used to be obsessed with burgers. Like, I used to love chicken burgers. Like, especially, you know, if you go to Sam's, yeah, and you get, like, the two for two. I don't know whether you guys know what Sam's is, but now Sam's is, like, two for four pounds. Two for two is two strip burgers with two chips, and that's two pounds. Or I would get a one pound burger, one pound strip burger. I used to get this all the time whenever I used to go to the mosque. I would always add chili sauce, 
can you guys see but not just any chili sauce like the really hot chili sauces like the ones that like you know 110 percent after this has been metabolized in your stomach and you're actually you know excreting this there is a lot of burning sensation down there <laughs> so now nah. she added a little bit though absolutely delicious <laughs> guys guys do you guys remember these ice gems oh my god look at them let me show you there's a pup there's a purple one guys this is a white one a yellow one i just don't understand why they never go in the middle they used to always bother me and then you just like literally take off the top mm. 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 you eat this after so the raspberry blackcurrant and lemon guys do you guys remember these rainbow dusters look so there's like a green a like a whitey creamy color and a pink color these used to cost 10p and you just open at the top and then like you just literally just like pour it in your mouth like this mm. that tastes like cola sometimes they wouldn't come out so you have to whack them and then all like sometimes they'll get like super wet because like of your mouth I don't know why this is not coming out. Do you guys remember this chewing gum? When I was younger, I was in high school, right? And I would buy this and this will last me the whole day. I really wanted the cola one, but I couldn't find the cola one anywhere. Up like that. Look at how much is in there. Mm. And then you just cut it. Yeah. I love this. They're so juicy and they're so succulent, like they could just like fit your whole mouth. Now, as you get older, obviously, you don't do things like that. It's so unattractive. Brain the cough. Everyone had this. There was a red one, but the red one actually wasn't a uh, lickety lips. It was just like this, but red. Like it was literally brain nickel, but red one. I don't know what happened to that. I used to always have one of these. This and toxic waste, but I can't find the toxic waste. Like they have these like little cans of toxic waste, little sweets and stuff. But there used to be a chewy bar and it used to be called toxic waste. It used to be so sour. I need to find that. I need to find that. Even though like I'm feeling a bit sicky, but I want another pack of crisps. Smiller. It's so crunchy. So what we're gonna do is, yeah, when I was younger, there was this amazing, amazing, and I know right now it's probably the most basic thing that's ever been tasted. It's called Pasta King. And I am not gonna lie to you guys. I used to run from the last class I had, every single time for lunch, I used to run so I can just have that Pasta King. Now we're gonna make some. So I got this Dolmino sauce from Azza. It has seven vegetables, it's sun ripe, tomato and basil pasta sauce with tomatoes, red pepper, carrot, leeks, green pepper, courgette and onion. Okay, we've got this. And we've got ourselves some pasta and we've got some, some cheese. So what I did is I did the pasta. I made sure it's like wetty at the bottom. So I kept, I kept some pasta water because that's what they used to do. And then like I literally just like heated up the tomato sauce in a pan and then just put that on top. That's what they used to do, guys. And then they used to add like a little bit of cheese and then we'll just like walk around and then just like mix everything up inside the little box. Pasta King is lit. Do they still do Pasta King? And then we'll give this a go. Bismillah. It tastes just like it, but this tastes just a little bit more richer. Mm. As this is delicious. This is my go-to. I want to know what you guys' favorite um, childhood, and if you're still a child, like I don't know, what, I don't know about that, but like, what if what's your favorite childhood meal? Mm. My most favorite things were these two. This comes obviously higher than this because you guys know I love wafers. Oh, just look at that. That, oh my god. This, this, oh man, bismillah. Mm, mm, mm. So, it may not seem like a lot to you. You're probably thinking, oh, that's just caramel wafer. But when I was younger, I used to love this. Oh. Mm, oh, mm, 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 oh. Mm, ah, mm, mm. Love it. I don't know whether you guys know what this is. And I don't know whether you guys have ever tried this. When I was younger, this was like 19p. 
not to be exact 19p this has gone up to 45p my mom would let me buy four packets of these with this she never said no like, just little rolls like that mm. this was like a nice little delight but one thing i never had when i was a child is frozen food we never had frozen food my mum would never buy like frozen pizzas and frozen chips we had that like when we were a bit older so like 16 plus but we, i never had that when i was younger like good morning everybody i hope you guys are having an absolutely fantastic morning day evening wherever you are have an amazing day guys i have gone to the corner shop got this sports drink i've got myself some skips i was looking for these they never used to look like this they used to be yellow before um now they've made it like bright and colorful and they are halal by the way guys if you guys are wondering they used to be 10p i got this for 25p they've they've changed everything they've made it more chewy before they used to be so hard it tastes just like squash like robinson's it was either this or sunny delight i i like skips i do i do like skips i haven't had them in years i just like i just like to use you know what i used to do yeah you know how there's skips right i mean there's like it's cut onto little sections i would sit there and like literally try and break it off into each section they used to sell this in little but they never had any of these in Lidl i used to love these and they also had these like sunday things in Lidl uh but they have beef gelatine <laughs> why does everything have gelatine like why but like i used to love the banana flake one again this was another thing that nobody in my family would eat i think that's what made it like more delicious you know when nobody eats it and then you're just like the only one that eats it Bismillah. The little one tastes the best though and it's way cheaper you guys remember these my mum would buy these right and i'd only eat the cherry one i would always take out the cherries mm. light syrup i think they've changed the flavor because that was hella sweet caprison everyone had caprison i had the tropical one more um but the orange one was there but because i had an orange drink earlier i don't want to have another orange drink ew this is actually kind of nasty it actually tastes horrible I thought this would taste nice it tastes like if you haven't brushed your teeth do you guys remember these the woman charged me 10p for one 10p these used to be 5p these bubble gums they get bigger in your mouth i really enjoy chewing gum like that's one of my favorite things to do chewing gum eating food and relaxing <laughs> guys do you guys remember penguins the little the little questions that they had did you guys see so this one is how does a penguin build its house guess it igloos it together <laughs> get it igloo i didn't get that why was the penguin's head so cold no because he was wearing an ice cap <laughs> that was a good one what's a penguin's favorite film Frozen. <laughs> that's actually a really good one. Oh, I used to love these. Oh, no, 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 no. These, mm, these. And then like you just like twist it. You open it and you have like this like like little creamy thingy inside. It's a biscuit, by the way. Mm. The last thing that we have is these rainbow drops. smells really bad though they don't actually taste quite great i think i only like them because they're pretty hey guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video please give this video a thumbs up like comment and subscribe and i'm gonna go now fast for three days because i feel like my blood sugar levels are like rocket high right now